interview time. Coming at you live from Bangkok, Thailand, Seabrew 2022. We're gonna wrap it up here now. I'm back. You might be able to tell by the the awful color of the curtains. Uh, I'm in a hotel in Bangkok, flying back to Saigon tomorrow. Daytime. This is it. This is the last one. Been through a lot. Did a lot of reviews. Not as many as I had hoped or planned on. We missed a bunch of people, but Seabrew next year is in Saigon. Everyone's going to be back. Everyone who I missed this year, we're going to do a review next year. Not going to name any names. I don't want to call anyone out. But I think we did a pretty good job. Got some awesome guests on. But we didn't, uh, we didn't, we didn't shoot the whole load. <laughs> We're coming back next year. Seabrew 2023. So, for the last beer of the Bangkok tour, we've got Hawkers, Lucky 13, Bohemian Pilsner, 5.4% ABV, Shout out to my fucking man, Mazen Hajar. Lucky 13 Degrees, I guess it's called. This beer is a clean, crisp homage to the roots of Pilsner. <laughs> Maybe lose my voice a bit. Lagered for a full two months, brewed with Bohemian floor malt, and hopped with nothing but saws. Saws! It's a clean, crisp journey back to old world brewing. Nothing is overstated. Everything's in balance. And subtle elegance is key. Like I said, shout out to Mazen, owner-operator of uh, Hawkers. Shout out to Charles Guerrier for hosting us here at Seabrew again. Next year in Saigon. We're excited. So, if you're new to the, if you're if you're new to the beer reviews, we do one sip, we give it a score of zero through ten, we try one a day until we try them all. This is the Hawkers Lucky Thirteen Degrees Bohemian Pilsner. One sip, everyone knows the rules. I mentioned on some of the other videos, if you haven't seen them, Bangkok has been fucking rife with big hop bombs, big hazy IPAs, and some of them have been nice and balanced and awesome, and some of them have been fucking hot, hot, hot. I thought it was only fitting to close out the trip with a nice, crisp, clean Pilsner. Mazen, this one's for you, bud. One sip, everybody knows the rules. really good. It's really good. So if you're a fan of the show, you'll know most of the super high scores go to double IPAs, awesome single IPAs, barrel-aged sourses, barrel-aged imperial stouts. So for the, the really nice pilsners, like how high are we going to go really... You know, for the style, you're going to max out at about... I mean, I just got back from the Czech Republic. Not too long ago. Home of the, home of the Pilsner. Home of Pilsen, Pilsner, Pils, 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 Pils. <laughs> Shout out to Matt Jimenez. <laughs> Not this. He's got a great name for a pilsner. I, I, gonna, I don't want to spoil it. I'll let him share it or not. It's up to him. He said he pitched the idea and he was told under no, uh, no uncertain terms, we are never naming a beer that. It was a great name. Anyway. 
Uh, uh, I lost my train of thought. I just got back from the Czech Republic. Home of the Pilsner. This is as good as any... I also don't want to give Mazin too much. He's got a high enough opinion of himself. I mean, but fucking right is right. Right is right. We are honest and unbiased on these beer reviews. <coughs> also, sorry for that. Also, I know this is fresh. This is a fresh beer. Some of the Pilsners that I've scored have been like imported cans that were sitting on a shelf for a long time. Who knows how old or long or how far. Anyway. I'm uh, I'm delaying the score for dramatic effect. It's an 8.6. Which is pretty high for a Pilsner. It's really good. Shout out to Melbourne. Shout out to Mazin. Shout out to Hawkers. Shout out to Seabrew 2022. That's me. And once at Beer Reviews, signing off from Bangkok. It's been a hell of a run. Shout out to Soy Cowboy. Shout out today uh, to Ananjahathis and Lamont Wynn. Those guys stuck it out till the end. Oh, and uh, Ming Chow. Mwah. Oh, oh there it is. Eight, eight point six. That's a review.